This is the Log Builders Workshop and I'm David Edgley and today we're going to have a go at building a solar kiln to dry your logs and also lumber. The things that you're going to need is a knife, a stapler, some uh, spacers and some light plastic. And the other thing you're going to need is a level surface to put this up on. Also in full view of the sun. So I've placed down some uh, some timbers on the ground. Uh, they're about six inches off the ground roughly. But I need them to be level, so I'm just using one of my uh, two by fours that I've cut to, to level it out. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put plastic over the top of this. So I've laid my plastic out and I'm just going to cut it off at the end here. And then we'll open this plastic up and lay it on. Okay, so we just pull, pull the plastic apart. And we just leave it to lie out the sides like this. Okay. So we take our stickers and we lay them across the plastic like so. And then we take our first timber, our first 2x4, and we lay it down, like so, and get the um, next one. We've laid out a few here to start with, and as you can see we've got a little air gap of about uh, an inch between each one. Uh, and we'll continue, and then we'll do the next layer, and continue up. So we're going to put the next layer of stickers on, in between. It's about three quarters to an inch thick, and then we'll start building our next layer. So now we've got the lumber all stacked up, we're just going to trim off some of the edges. So we're going to take some of the spurs off the end, just so they don't dig through the plastic. And also we're going to run the chainsaw along all the bits of the stickers that are sticking out. And this is what it will look like when you are finished. No jagged edges or anything that could cut through the plastic. And that's pretty much about all. So I'm going to use my moisture meter to get an idea of how wet this wood is to start with. This is edge grain uh, Douglas fir. And with my trusted little meter here, I'm going to stick it in. Cut the wood. Turn the dial until it comes up and it says it's about 18% moisture content. I'll try this in several different areas. This area is wetter. This one's over 25% which I would expect it to be. Um, so we'll see how long this takes to, to dry out. So this is a moisture meter. This one's been made by Timbercheck moisture meters. But there's a variety of them out there. This one's fairly simple to operate and will give you a good idea. We're trying to get it down, depending on your ambient temperature outside, to probably 10 to 12 percent. If you've got a really dry climate, it'll get down less, and if you've got a really moist climate, it might not get down that I've far. I've got a round log here, and we're just going to put this in the center, and we're going to put a spacer under both ends as before. Like so. so. We're going to take the sheet of plastic and we're just going to run it along the top. 
like so. And then take our knife and cut off the end. So we're just going to staple this to the side. We'll bring this down the edge. Staple it here. Try not to put too many staples in because they will rust and put them in places that it doesn't matter too much. Then we'll pull it tight here. We'll do the same here. Oops. Maybe I should have pulled that over a little bit. And then pull it tight so we've got that edge. Same on this side. Put a couple more staples down the edge. We'll take the sides and we'll pull the sides up and we'll just staple them up at the top. So at the end, we'll just tuck the piece that comes down underneath like so. And we'll pull the ends up like this. Just to seal it up. Get another staple of two in. Like so. So fold the ends in. Pull them up. Like so. Another staple of two in. This up, staple it down, fix this end up. We've got the, the whole thing up on these blocks and that's created a couple of spaces where the plastic can hang down. What's going to happen is as this heats up the water will evaporate and then it will run down the edges and collect in the bottom, at which point we'll put a hole in the bottom and you'll see how much water comes out and it'll keep <laughs> draining. Okay, so uh, that's the solar kiln and uh, this is Log Builders Workshop. My name is David Edgeley and uh, come on back and uh, check out some more tips, tricks and uh, some of the other projects that we've got on the go. And here is the director of the film, Dustin. And I think he's done a pretty good job.